Panama City Beach built itself into an economic powerhouse and staked its reputation on being the spring break capital of the world. But by 2015, a shooting and a movement by law enforcement leaders and residents forced the city council to enact strict new laws. The party was over. I know there was a lot of concern at the time about the economics of it. Um, I think we've got so much going for us with the, the beautiful area that we live and the, and the great people and the, and the business base. Um, I felt that it would, it would recover, yeah. but I don't think anybody, including myself, could have predicted that it would recover as fast as it did and that we could, um, you know, switch to that family base. Some places hung on for a while, but ultimately got wiped out by Hurricane Michael. Club La Vila, once the beating heart of spring break, is once again closed this March. Longtime business owner Jack Bishop said the impact was immediately felt in 2016. But I know my restaurant was off 50 percent, 50 percent in March. But some leaders say these changes have been for the better. The beach will get them here. But you need to keep them busy and you need you needed more than we had at the time. Pier Park is one of the most popular places here in Panama City Beach and it's a major attraction for many families, especially in the month of March. And leaders say that it's one of the several places that's a success because the old spring break is gone. You know, even though it was a long, painful process and, uh, you know, there were hurt feelings along the way. There was anger uh, from both sides uh, of the coin. I am you know, pleased that, that I think most people have, have recognized, you know, in retrospect how bad it was and how good it can be. Families and tourists coming has been, from a business perspective, I'm sure, much uh, more profitable and less destructive. The bed tax numbers for Panama City Beach seem to prove this. News 13 pulled the numbers from every March in the last 15 years. They're a good indicator of business activity on the beach during the month. The biggest year the city's ever had, it was 2021. We do have some additional uh, resources that we can pull from now. Some of the, the, uh, the TDC funding that's now available for public safety has helped us a lot be able to scale up to the resources that we need. Mayor Mark Sheldon says the city has no intention of going back. Understand Panama City Beach is a family friendly destination. We've worked hard to get there, so be forewarned. Do not come to Panama City Beach to cause trouble. The city will not go back to the rowdy days of the past. In Panama City Beach, Genomatics News 13, Panhandle Strong.